This video on coordinate geometry of the circle looks at intersecting circles and we'll be looking at finding the common chord and the points of intersection. So let's first of all have a think about what all this means visually. Here we have an image of two intersecting circles. In this case they meet at two points and they share this chord. In the second diagram the two circles intersect as well but only at one point. As a result they have a common tangent. We're going to start by looking at how to find these common chords and common tangents. So here's an example to start off with. So the question asks us to find the equation of the common chord of the two circles, x squared plus y squared plus 4x plus 6y minus 36 equals 0, and x squared plus y squared minus 5x plus 8y minus 43 equals 0. This is actually very easy to do, and it's very like the beginning of a simultaneous equation for lines. I'm basically going to do a simultaneous equation for circles. And because I want to get the equation of a chord, and you can see from the diagrams up here that the chord is a line, well, it's an equation of a line I'm looking for. So I'm going to do a simultaneous equation with the two circles that gets rid of the x squareds and the y squareds. To do this, all I have to do is simply multiply one of the equations of the circle by minus one. I'm going to choose the second equation here. And this is going to have the effect of changing all the signs in this equation. And now I'll just merge the two equations and I'll see that the x squared minus x squared cancels out the y squared minus y squared cancels out, and the other terms combine to give me 9x minus 2y plus 7 equals 0. And that's the equation of the common chord for these two circles. So now here's the question for you to do. Find the equation of the common chord of these two circles, x squared plus y squared plus 4x plus 2y minus 3 equals 0, and x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 3y plus 1 equals 0. Pause the video here, have a go, and then play and see if you're correct. So I'll start by times in one of the equations by minus one, and then I'll cancel. So the x squareds and y squareds are gone, and I'll combine the remaining terms. And this is the equation of my common chord. Here's a second example. So now I want to find the equation of the common tangent of these two circles, x squared plus y squared minus 18x plus 2y plus 32 equals to zero, and x squared plus y squared minus 16y plus 32 equals to zero. You'll see here that the second circle doesn't have any x term. That's fine. If you want, you can put in a 0x. It's the exact same process as before. Times either of the equations by minus 1. And then combine the two equations. The x squareds and y squareds are gone. And I end up with minus 18x plus 18y. The 32s actually cancel out as well. Equals to 0. It's interesting to note that this equation of the common tangent, again, is just the equation of a line. And... Really, aside from the fact that it's mentioned in the question that it's a tangent, there's no real way of telling by looking at it whether it's a tangent or whether it's a chord. So here's a question for you now. So your question is, find the equation of the common tangent of these circles, x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 2y minus 7 equals 0, and x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y plus 9 equals 0. Pause the video here, do the question, and then check and see if you're correct. OK, so I'm going to times my second equation and I can do it for actually either of my circles. I'm just choosing to do it for the second one. I want to multiply by minus one. And then I'll just tidy it up. So off go the x squareds, off go the y squareds. And finally, I have my equation of the common tangent. So now that we've established how to find common chords and common tangents, we're going to go ahead now to find the points of intersection of circles. And we're going to use the knowledge that we've just gained in the earlier part of the video about finding the equations of common chords and common tangents to do this. So here's our example. We want to find the point or points of intersection, we're not sure do they meet once or twice, of the circles x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4 minus 15 equals 0 and x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y minus 29 equals 0. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to figure out what the common chord or common tangent of these two circles is. So I'll proceed just like in the previous examples. So you know what to do here. So pause the video, do it yourself, and then just double check to see that you're correct before you go on. So this works out as minus 2x minus 2y plus 14 equals 0. And this is either the common chord or the common tangent. And I'm going to use this equation of the line to figure out where the circles intersect, because I'm going to figure out where this line intersects the circles. And just referring to our earlier diagram, we can just see that if the circles meet in two places and it's got a common chord, that those points where the line, the chord, intersects the circles are the same places where the circles intersect each other. 
and even if we've got a common tangent because the circles only touch in one place well the line is going to meet the circles at that one spot. So now we find the point of intersection or points of intersection of the line and one of the circles and we only have to do it for one not for both because the answers will be the same in either case. So I'm going to make a note of the circle that I'm going to use and I can choose either but I'm going to choose the first one and I'll also make a note of the line and at this stage I could make my life a little bit easier by just simplifying this line equation a little bit. You might notice that I can divide the whole thing across by minus two and that would just make it look a little bit nicer before I begin. Now that just looks a little bit neater. So now I want to figure out where the circle and this line intersect. Now we've done this before so at this point you should be able to pause the video and calculate this yourself. So do so and then play and see if you're correct and if you get stuck at any stage just play a little bit along and give yourself a bit of a nudge that way and then pause again and keep going. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is rewrite my line equation and I'm going to get either the x or the y by themselves. I'm going to go with the x. So now I've got x equals 7 minus y. And I'm going to sub this information into the circle. So wherever I've got an x in the circle equation originally, I'm going to replace it now with 7 minus y. So I've subbed that in and now I'm going to tidy that up a little bit. Take particular care when you're squaring out this bracket here at the beginning. And if you need to, go off and use a little bit of rough workspace to multiply this out carefully. So I've fully expanded that now. And then it's just a question of tidying it up a little bit. And I'm going to expect that it's probably going to turn into a quadratic for me. And it does indeed as 2y squared minus 20y plus 48 equals 0. And again, I can make my life a little bit easier here by dividing this across, in this case, by 2. And it'll just make it a bit easier to factorise and solve. So now I've got my quadratic y squared minus 10y plus 24 equals 0, and I want to factorise this and solve. So you go through your steps for factorisation of a quadratic, and we end up at y minus 4 times y minus 6 equals 0. We let each of our factors equals to 0, and I end up then with two solutions for y, y equals 4 and y equals 6. And at this stage, it's just interesting to note that these two solutions for y indicate that the circles meet in two places. So it's only at this stage, really, that I know that I've got a common chord instead of a common tangent. How many values of y do you think I would have expected to find if I had a common tangent? Well, I'd only expect to find one value, a repeating value, because there's only one point of contact when I've got a tangent. Okay, so I'm nearly there. I have the y values, but of course I want to find points of intersection, so I have to have the x part of the point also. So I'm going to, have to sub y into my line from earlier. And the rewritten version of the line that I have here, the x equals 7 minus y, is the best choice for this. So when y equals 4, x will be 7 minus 4, just substituting into this equation here. And of course that comes out as 3, and now I'll write the full point. Remember that x always goes first to the point. And then I'll sub in y equals 6, getting a result of 1. And again then I'll make the point, putting the x value first. So now I have two points, 3, 4 and 1, 6. And these are my two points of intersection.